welcome to another episode of Doug's Garage. In this video, I get my Lexus IS250 back from the dealer. Um, they redid the clear coat on the front hood and then they blended in the front fenders. I just received my latest supply of detailing supplies from Valkyrie Detail Supply, which is the Angel Wax Pacific Northwest distributor. Um, Angel Wax compound polishes that I did get was the Resurrection Heavy Cut. We have the Regenerate, which is the medium cut. And then we have the Redemption, which is the fine polish. Um, I paired these up with the Resurrection. I paired up with the Flex 3401. This is a force rotation. Um, this is a workhorse. Um, it will continue besides our regular DA, it force rotates, right? So that you can power through curves more. Uh, and this is a workhorse. So although you can polish with the same polisher since I have it, I switched from going with the Resurrection to the Regenerate to get out the medium and light swirls with the Grills Garage Bots G15. And then I paired it with a Lake Country CCS. So the CCS is a little bit different than these HDO um, pads by Lake Country, uh, which you'll see in the video. But either one, the white is the polishing pad. And then I finish it up with the Redemption, the polish with this. This is actually a Grills Garage black foam finishing pad. So it has little to almost no cut at all. And then this is to zap or get out that last bit of final gloss with this um, ultra fine finishing polish by Angel Wax. So hope you like the video and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Strip the surface of your paint for the best correction possible. I like to use Meguiar's Wash Plus. This is an abrasive wash that helps to get all the bonded contaminants off of the paint. You will follow this step up with a clay bar and clay lube to again strip this down to the virgin clear coat. Here we have the Angel Wax Resurrection and the Flex 3401. This is a force rotation polisher. I'm gonna be pairing this up with the orange cutting pad by Lake Country. This is the hybrid series. It's beveled or tapered to work better with the force rotation. Pairing this up with the Angel Wax Resurrection Heavy Cut Compound. This takes out 1500 grit sandpaper marks. You want to first prime the pad. Um, a lot of people use three or four pea-sized dots and spread out your compound across the vehicle. When you first start spreading out your compound, go ahead and use a uh, three setting, so a lower setting, and you want to try to evenly spread out the compound on the area that you uh, want to work. So you have pretty quick arm speed as you're spreading out your compound. And once you have spread out your compound in the area that you're going to work, you will start your working passes. So a lot of people like to work about moving one inch per second and then that will give you a good amount of cut as you glide across the paint. So as you can see I'm moving up and down and then from left to right. This would be what you consider a working pass and when you move you want to try to have about a 50% um, overlap of the pad so that way you make sure that you have even coverage. The only reason that you do a cross hatch pattern or left to right and up to down is to make sure again that you are evenly correcting the area that your working area is. And there's various techniques, but this is one that, you know, across the industry that people like to use. Again, it's just one extra step to mitigate and help the correction process. After the heavy cut onto the medium cut compound, we have the Grills Garage G15 long throw 15 millimeter long throw orbital paired with the Lake Country CCS white polishing pad. We have an angel wax medium cut compound designed to take out 2500 grit sandpaper marks. Always prime your pad with four pea size drops. This is considered the working compound on the pad. Tap out your working compound along the area that you intend to work. And when you're spreading this out, again, this is going to be light pressure and a lower setting speed. So a speed setting of three on your dual action orbital and then lighter pressure and faster arm speed as you 
spread out the working compounds. When you get into your working passes, you're going to apply more pressure and do the crosshatch method, overlapping your pad 50%. Keep in mind, you always want to look at the back of your backing pad and your pad itself to make sure that it's freely spinning. If it ever bogs down, make sure you notice that and then you reposition you know, the pad or reposition where you're putting down the pressure on the pad so that it starts to spin freely. Once it's spinning freely, this is ensuring that you're getting the maximum amount of cut or polish, you know, in the correction process out of the pad. Here we move on to the other side of the vehicle. And again, when you're polishing compared to cutting, you're going to apply a little less pressure and you can move a little faster than you would in your cutting process. Always make sure that you work clean when you're polishing and cutting a car. You want to use one pad for every one or two panels and always work clean. The more that you work the compound into the pad, the more you're going to have caked on and it will dry up. So use a pad reconditioning brush, put your machine on a lower speed and brush out the spent compound. After you get done with your working passes, always make sure you wipe the product off with a microfiber towel. Alright, this is a three-step paint correction process. This is the Grios Garage Black Finishing Pad with the Angel Wax Redemption Ultra Fine Finishing Polish. So this is designed to take out 3000 grit sandpaper marks. Again, you put your working product and prime the pad with the four P-sized dots and then spread this out or tap it across your working area. As you can see, this is relatively big for a working area, but this is the last final step all the heavy compound and cutting has already been done and in this step a three-step um, polishing process you're just trying to zap out as much gloss as you can out of the paint so you're going to almost be massaging the paint and gliding over the paint with relative ease um, you don't want to apply a lot of pressure because you're just trying to zap out as much of that extra gloss as you can using this final finishing um, polish. What's up YouTube, welcome back. Um, as we wrap up today's video again, it was just to make a simple video on polishing basics. Things like arm movement, working passes, priming your pad and cleaning your pad. Remember you always want to work clean, uh, clean as possible besides cleaning it out with a pad conditioning brush. Every you know panel or every couple panels, switch out your pad. Uh, one thing to know is that Lank Country, the white CCS pad that I was using here, as you can tell, um, it was bogging down a lot and I corrected a couple cars with that and that pad was, it, it was done. So I actually threw it out um, because you know, you, you can tell when it has wear on the pad. Just go ahead and buy new pads, they're relatively cheap and that way you get the most out of your correction process. When you do look at paint correction, you will typically do a two-step um, paint correction, right? You're going to have your cutting and then your polishing. Today we did a three-step utilizing the Redemption by Angel Wax and this is to try to zap or coax out that extra gloss, right? And that's the whole idea behind paint correction is to yes take out the scratches take out the micro marring or the holograms you know the imperfections in the paint but ultimately is to get that nice shine and gloss out of your clear coat so your clear coat's really wavy and you get those little scratches in it distorts the light so that the way that the light refracts off of that it looks dull so when you level out and that's what you're doing when you're correcting your paint you're leveling out those little scratches and you know and those divots in the clear coat and as you do that the light's going to refract and it's going to look shinier and that's how you get that extra gloss hope you liked today's video again like subscribe and leave the comments below and we'll see you next time on doug's garage